A Fox Business Alert. Rick Perry, the very latest presidential candidate to try to tap into voter dissatisfaction with America's chaotic tax system by offering a flat tax plan. He made his case to Neil Cavuto earlier tonight. OK, so you, you say with this flat tax, Governor, that if you don't like it, you don't have to take it. But what does that mean, that you, 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 there will be rival tax systems? Well, basically, it'll give people a choice. I mean, there may be some people that uh, have set their business plan in place with the old tax code, and they look at it and they say, you know what, that's where we really need to stay for whatever reasons, and they can do that. Or somebody can take that piece of paper right there, fill it out with the deductions that we talk about, 20%, send it back in, and they're done. Well, Peter Schiff says this plan does anything but simplify our tax code. How so, Peter? Well, you know, he's trying to have his cake and, and eat it, too. You know, the, the way a, a flat tax works is you're able to lower the rate because you broaden the base. Well, Perry doesn't broaden the base at all. All he's really done is, is establish an alternative maximum tax with our current system. So you can calculate your income using all the loopholes, all the deductions that exist. And if the rate you get is less than 20 percent, then you pay that rate. But if you end up with a rate that's higher than 20 percent, then you just choose the alternate maximum right. tax. So, so what you're this, saying is, that, plan, it's, it, well, is that it has it has both a flat. It's like a pile on. It's just a pile on what we already have. Yeah, I mean, for people like me, my tax rate is so much higher than 20 percent. I'm obviously not going to bother figuring my taxes out the old way. I'll just figure it out the new way. But there are plenty of people who are using the code to reduce their income. So all that's still going to be there. So you're not broadening the base at all. You're preserving all of the loopholes and special deductions. And also, you know, in his plan, he substantially increases the standard deduction. So what this plan is going to do is it's going to cost a lot of revenue to the federal government. Now, that's fine with me. I think the government has too much money. But yeah. the problem is, what is, where are the cuts? Where are the draconian? Where are right. the massive and, and, spending and cuts? Clearly, that whoever's, the next, whoever's the next president is going to have to cut massively. This government is far too big, far too intrusive. But I'm wondering what kind of tax plan you think would be better. Are, do, you, do you prefer, for example, a 999 of Herman Cain? Well, again, Herman Cain's plan has actually got four nines. There's a 9% payroll tax that he's not talking about. So Herman Cain's uh, plan is going to raise taxes for a lot of people. Uh, the Perry plan is actually going to cut taxes for a lot of people. But the problem is government spending is going to keep going up, and that's a bigger tax increase. The reality is that deficits do more damage to the economy than taxes. And what? if we're just going to substitute yeah. bigger deficits for lower taxes, we're going to have a weaker economy. What we really need is tax reform that lowers the rates, but we also need tremendous reductions right. in government spending way, I don't know so that we can afford lower taxes. I don't taxes. know if you heard Jerry Nadler, uh, congressman, who happens to be my congressman, as a matter of fact, my district of New York, saying that deficits don't do any don't do anything bad to the economy at all. That's not why we're in the trouble we're in. What do you say to that? Well, he's dead wrong. I mean, why does he think we're in so much trouble? And, if, you know, and if deficits don't matter, look, aren't we aren't they having a crisis in Europe right now? Isn't Greece in trouble because deficits matter? I mean, why is it that they matter over there, but that they don't matter over here? Peter, good to see you again, my friend. Peter,